Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? I have a lot of photos and videos to show you from the Honor 30 Pro Plus. I'm using the front-facing camera right now, and there are actually two sensors on the front. You're looking at the one times, and then we have the wide-angle camera. You know I already like that. Love me some wide-angle cameras, especially on the front, which makes this a pretty good vlogging camera, especially since the front-facing cameras can do 4K. But you know what, while I get ready to head over to one of my favorite places in Southern California, which is the LA Arboretum, uh, why don't we go ahead and unbox this thing. Uh, I'm going to rewind the clock a little. Obviously, I'm using the phone now, but here is what it looked like when I unboxed it. While I'm going through the unboxing, I just wanted to show you what beauty mode kind of looks like on the front. I can already see that my freckles are super soft. Uh, when you do beauty mode, I put it on max, by the way, so I don't know if my face looks really, really weird or something. I'll try not to make faces, but uh, the beauty mode on the front means that you have to go back down to 1080p resolution, which, okay, I can kind of get that. But yeah, this is the wide angle camera, beauty mode on. Here at one of my favorite places, the LA Arboretum. You can already hear the peacocks going. Um, as far as the audio on this phone is concerned, let me know how it sounds. Stabilization looks pretty good on the wide angle lens for the front, so good vlogging cam again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as far as the audio is concerned, I have my mask on, so I'm a little bit muffled. Let me know how it sounds anyway. One thing I notice about the cameras already, just by shooting some videos, it always comes in pretty hot. I gotta bring the exposure down by like negative one. But another cool thing about this camera right now is that, well, we're back on a phone with a lot of good zoom levels. And that's gonna be really good because the animals and the wildlife, whatever you wanna call them here, yep, don't wanna get too close. And you know what, as a bonus, the shot you're seeing right now is coming from the Sony ZV-1. If you don't believe me, let me do this real quick. There you go, showing off both cameras at the same exact time. Gotta love it. Got two really good cameras. I wonder if this particular combo would actually be the best everyday combo. But yeah, there are gonna be some times where I chime in, just sort of talking about this phone. Um, yeah, look, autofocus, really good on the Sony ZV-1. Doing a separate video on this camera. It's, not go it's only gonna be part of this one a little bit. But yeah, wait for my full uh, coverage of this little camera that I just got like yesterday. So just talking about the cameras that are on here. By the way, the phone looks so nice. This this definitely has some of the tropes of the P40 Pro, the P40 Pro Plus. But yeah, this black edition that I have of the phone just looks so nice, so executive. Especially with the camera module, which houses a few very important details. The main sensor is a 50 megapixel sensor. You also have an eight, I think it's an eight megapixel telescopic zoom lens at five times optical zoom. And both of those work together to get you up to a 10 times hybrid zoom, uh, meaning that you don't lose a whole lot of quality once you get to 10 and maybe just a little bit farther than that. Then of course you have an ultra wide camera, which I'm using right now to get this video. Oh, and when I'm doing the host segments using the Sony ZV-1, I'm not using any external microphones or anything. You're hearing the onboard mics. Again, this video is not about this camera. It just happens to be the one that I also have on me. So you can assess a little bit of the quality with that, but I have plenty of content on the Sony camera coming up soon. Okay, so I did want to chime in here a little bit. Um, I am doing this real world camera test, but I'm not going to give too much analysis as far as the quality of it, because uh, to be honest, I've already kind of reviewed this camera. Uh, the P40 Pro over at Pocket Now was the review that I did, uh, and this has virtually the same cameras. 
But of course, the thing that I will already adore about the Honor version of that camera is that the front-facing camera has two lenses, one of them being a wide. Obviously, that is going to be something that is great for just IG stories or vlogging or anything like that. And the pictures on the front still look pretty great. After all, but that main sensor is a 32 megapixel sensor. There's 4K video across the board, which is always great to see. Except for the slow motion video, you'll see what resolution that ended up being uh, when those clips come up. So let's go through some of the specifications for now. And before you even say anything in the comments, yes, I know this phone is not going to have Google services. I am going to do uh, my full coverage on this phone and give you my thoughts on a Google-less Honor device. But this is still such a flagship phone in every sense of the word. Um, so with the cameras and also with the performance. You get the Kirin 990, 5G enabled, so there is 5G connectivity on here. But I will admit that I don't really get to enjoy that because even with my Google Fi SIM, I don't seem to get super high speeds on this 5G. No millimeter wave, obviously. That's not even around a whole lot of places here in the US. One thing that I just completely did not register because maybe I am really into these high refresh rate screens at this point that my eyes are just tuned to it. I was just sort of gliding through the entire display not realizing it's a 90 hertz refresh rate. Either way, it looks really great and this OLED screen is at six and a half inches about. Uh, it's full HD plus resolution though, so don't go expecting super high resolutions. One thing I will say, however, is that the rear sensors, especially the fact that one of them is an ultra wide sensor, it's a little bit odd because the main 50 megapixel sensor is already at around 23 millimeters as far as focal length is concerned, but then the ultra wide is at about 18 millimeters, which does widen it a little bit, but you see it mostly in photos. When you do the conversion in video, when you tap that wide button for video, it doesn't really seem like you get that much more. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. The main sensor, which is a fantastic sensor, already is pretty wide already. You know, my, my Instagram post from earlier said that it's actually kind of cold out today, which is why I thought it would be a good idea for me to come out here do some camera tests, uh, especially with the Honor. But yeah, it got pretty warm. And also I just realized my whole head is basically covered. So of course I'm warming myself up with my own breath. <laughs> but you know what? So far, the experience has been really good with this phone. I'm really enjoying everything I'm able to do with this. Even at the five, well, in video it's 5.5 times, but in photos it's a five times uh, zoom. And then you can get all the way up to 10. I'm not going any farther than that, but even then, especially at a place like the Arboretum where there is some wildlife, some squirrels, some ducks, some geese, uh, peacocks, of course, it is really nice to be able to just zoom right into them without much problem. Uh, so yeah, the, the zoom levels are definitely coming in handy, but this might be one of the only times that I actually do it that often. So obviously it was a really sunny day, 2 p.m. Uh, at the LA Arboretum, and that meant that the cameras of the Honor 30 Pro Plus were meant to shine. It's going to have really good results because there's plenty of ample light. I will get into some night mode stuff uh, later on for the full review, but for now, we're just enjoying what this camera can do in a beautiful place like the LA Arboretum. A couple of quirks in the shooting experience, I do wish that the zoom selector was closer to where your hands might be at any given point if you're just using it one-handed. Having to use a second hand in order to change uh, the zoom level or at the very least hit the wide button, which is what I usually do, it would be nice for that to be a bit more convenient. But yeah, in any case, I just wanted to have some fun with this. I actually unboxed the Honor 30 Pro Plus quite a while ago. Uh, so here's the phone right here. And it's a it's quite the looker, like it shines so well, even if it's a dark color, which makes it a little bit tough to actually show on camera, uh, I will find ways of making it work. And as you saw, I did so over at the LE Arboretum using the Sony ZV-1. 